Have you ever heard of miracle fruit? It's a berry native to West Africa, and it's said upon eating it will change the way food tastes. It's sort of a little bit tart, uh, very similar to a cranberry or a blueberry. Um, when you eat it, you basically want to eat it, let the flesh and the skin coat all of your mouth and your tongue and your taste buds, um, and then you spit the seed out and wait about 30 seconds for its effects to take, take effect. Here's the science behind the berry. Normally, receptors on our taste buds can identify sweet, sour, bitter, and savory taste, an ingredient called miraculin, or glycoprotein, which is extracted from the miracle fruit, clings to your tongue. Miraculin is a taste modifier, and that's what makes the difference. Will it change the taste of any of these as far as like taste like something totally different or does it? Uh, do no, it really just amps up the sweetness of anything with citric acid in it from the low pH. Um, for something like the strawberries and goat cheese is what we give you. It's going to bring a little sweetness to the goat cheese as well because it actually has a low pH. So it's going to taste a little bit similar to cheesecake as opposed to that sour, funky, pungent goat cheese that you usually get. Now I'm allergic to certain fruits, so I couldn't partake. I had my photographer Steven and I swap places. sweeter definitely but the, the lemon may give you the biggest effect because of how sour it is originally if you try that it will probably taste a lot like lemonade yeah <laughs> definitely perhaps you'd like to give it a shot for yourself Jonathan hosts a miracle fruit tasting once a month at his club in Sandy Springs called three sheets We've been selling out the event most every month for the past seven years, so it's one of those things that in order to accommodate our guests, we can really only do it once a month. Dang, that's impressive. You can get a whole lemon and not get that reaction. Nice.